This lens is magic. Period. I am using it on a Sony A7R and can honestly tell you that I could happily forego any other lens for this one. I have the CV41. 4 and so I hesitated a bit, given the relatively similar focal length and speed, but there is no comparison. The 35 one, 2 renders higher contrast images and has a more refined bokeh. Also, sharp without being quite as clinical as my Sony's ICE 55 one, 8. Lastly, the build quality is amazing. This lens is hefty, in a good way, and has very smooth and precise focus and aperture rings. The combined weight of the lens plus the A7R is 2 pounds, 7 ounces, 1, 1 kilogram. Perfect. I loved the lens while I had it. I have the TechArt Autofocus M mount adapter on my Sony A7 Reed, and this lens is the only M mount lens I have. It's a very appealing trio, Sony slash TechArt slash an 35mm. The lens produces some very nice picks wide open and at smaller apertures is sharp. It's really interesting and looks so compact it's amazing to be able to shoot on a full frame camera at f1. 235 millimeters using autofocus in such a small package i can highly recommend this lens very sharp lens even while open you will not regret this purchase i have been looking to add a 35 millimeters lens to my lenses I mostly shoot 50mm. But there are times that a 35mm perspective is a better fit for the photo. I did a ton of research, and since I shoot Leica cameras and have almost exclusively Leica lenses, that is where I started my search. Make no mistake, it is very hard to go wrong with any Leica lens, the quality and build are always first rate. But so are the prices. I saw a number of review of the Voigtlander Nocton 35mm, and at $999, thought it would be worth giving it a go. While I have only had it for one day, I have shot a few hundred photos with it already, and I am blown away by the quality of the build, but more importantly with the quality of the photos taken with this lens. Click link in description for more reviews.